Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be checking out Breath of the Wild on CMU emulator on the Steam Deck. Also showing you how to update the DLC. Also add a update so you don't have a white screen of death at the beginning of the game. And also you have a prompt saying that, that you need to update your Wii in order to play the game. I will be doing a more in-depth video on Wii U emulation as in showcasing as many games as possible. I think that's amazing. I'll go through just a little bit of gameplay and then move into settings and what you need to do in order to get it up and running. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, so these are the settings that I have now. Unfortunately, this will be uh, a lot of cash building as well because obviously it's the first time that I'm playing the game, but I've got it locked at 40. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. And the beauty, th uh, beauty of it is it's running really, really, really smooth. There's no jaggies anywhere. It looks absolutely fantastic. And if I get Link a little bit closer, you'll see that I've got the graphics pack. As you can see, there is Link in his shell shading form. So I have got textures on really high, but as you can see, as we move out of the camera focus, that's what it would look like normally. Let me move a little bit back. And as you can see, now he looks it's called the mod is called plastic mode or something so all characters most of uh, the rendering has been redone uh, to see a boost in fidelity of graphics so as you can see that's the shell shaded look and as we move out away again you'll see that he turns into a lego figure basically but it looks absolutely fantastic the level of detail is a lot finer than the switch as you can see by the door itself and it just generally looks absolutely incredible I've got the draw distance on high so you can see way into the distance and still have really really good detail which obviously you do not get on the switch and the beauty of doing emulation and having lots of settings to mess around with but yeah it looks absolutely incredible really smooth really really happy with it also you have lots of cheats as well i've got infinite health on at the moment i have beat the game quite a lot of times i've not completed the dlc though but i've got unlimited jump which also helps massively at the start of the game But as you can see, it looks really nice. You'll see it dip down, guys, but as I say, this is all new. First time playing it, so it will be building up a lot of cash. As you can see, once you go around a bit more, it does settle to 40. But again, it's really, really nice to look at. It's so detailed. Okay, so we're going to quickly show just how we got to this stage. So if we hit the steam button to come out of the game. Go to exit. Go to desktop mode, hit power. Switch to desktop mode. When you're first setting up CMU, always start it in desktop mode first. Don't start it and make sure that the Steam is off also. So once you have your games and the ROMs that you wish to use, we go to Dolphin, we go to Primary. I always forget that when you turn off Steam, your right button becomes the left mouse trigger. Okay, so we go to Primary. We head up to emulation, we go to ROMs, we scroll all the way down to Wii U. 
Then inside Wii U we have ROMs. And as you can see, these are all the different files. So I've got Mario Kart 8 DLC, Mario Kart 8 Update, and the Mario Kart 8 ROM itself. What we need to do is make sure that we put them on to our primary SD card or internal storage if you are using that. We open Steam now. First, you would go to Steam ROM Manager, upload all your ROMs. But once you've done that and completely done it, I have done a guide. So I will leave that at the end of the video, guys, at the end, if you wish to see that. That is setting up EMU Deck so you get all this up and running. This is just showing you how to put on DLC and so forth. I'm going to open Steam. I'm going to find CM, uh, CMU. So I'm going to go to the search. I'm going to hold Steam and X. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to press play. It takes a second to load up. I'm going to go to file. When you click on file, it will go haywire. The best thing that I've seen and know what to do really is just hold the steam button as you navigate the mouse. So we're going to hit file. We're going to go down to install game title, update or DLC. It's going to give us a box. We're going to go to ROMs, wherever you've put your files. It will go crazy now. So we go ROMs, open. Then we're going to choose Mario Kart DLC. I've already done it, but this is what you would do. Let's find Mario Kart DLC. Or update. Let's go to update. Click update. Go to open. You should have three categories, code content and metadata so you want to hit the bottom one which is the meta open it highlight the xml file and then we open it prompts me here to say that it's already it's already installed but you'll see a blue bar and it will scroll right the way up you do that with any updates or dlc and it would then that's how you get it all up and running I'm just reinstalling it, just to show you, it takes a while. And then it is done, it's okay. Now we want to make sure that we have graphic packs so we can have mods, 60 FPS, which gets you the 40 FPS frame rate, a very stable level once your cache is built. So we need to go to options, we need to go to graphics packs and then we need to go to the top. You can either uncheck or uninstall here. So we can either put games that we already have on the system or if we uncheck it. Sorry guys, it's freaking out again. And then we simply just put download graphics packs. Mine will say that, that it's already been done and I have all up to date, but that's what you do then we simply find a game that you want to change or update the resolution or lower the resolution or have the mods then i simply find breath of the wild it is incredibly small so let me zoom in guys if i can there we go let me move the camera just so it's easy for you to see and as you can see we now have the options of graphics enhancements when we click on them we can see different things for grass for air swaying for vulcan if we go to mods you can see that i've put the custom shell sh shading which turns everything into really really nice rendered figures in the game and it makes it look amazing fps plus plus draw distance is full which is really nice you can change the weather there are so many things that you can do there's also cheats which i've enabled <laughs> virtually all of them so that's pretty cool so any changes or anything that you need to do guys it has to be done through here and then we simply close the application we can exit we can close steam 
we can go to return to game mode. What I am going to try later on this evening, guys, is I'm going to try lowering the resolution, but using the FS, FSR and seeing if we can get it upscaled and have better frame rates than up to 60, hopefully. And still looking really, really nice. I will do another video on that, guys. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. A like would be great, guys. It really does help the channel. The more you like the video, the more it reaches to a wider audience and helps my channel grow. I'd really appreciate it if you like the video, then to hit the like. Share if you really feel obliged to. And also become a member if you want to see more retro handing goodness, Steam Deck or anything else related. I just ordered the Retroid Pocket 3, so that should be here soon. I'm really looking forward to that one. I will be doing a video as one of my fellow YouTuber subscribers told me that there is another update for EFA SX2 for PS2. So I'll be doing a video on that because if that helps with the performance on the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus then obviously it will stand good stead for the Retroid Pocket 3 when it lands. Okay, so let's go back into game. And as you can see that I've got DLC uh, there as well, all with the latest version as well for the Wii U and semi Laser. I think it's absolutely incredible. It plays amazing, certainly looks amazing with the modded packs. You can change the strength of the mod as well which is like the lego figures i call them because they just look like lego link really and um, yeah so i'd love to know what you think in the comments guys and yeah i think it's absolutely fantastic i say looks nice plays nice really is very very nice let's just quickly walk out let's go over to the tower You'll see on all the characters and the textures just look incredibly sharp really really detailed which is really nice the characters themselves look fantastic there's better lighting and image quality as well I've got special effects on so it's really really nice but as you can see the king he looks cool as hell very detailed in 3d and looks incredible even with all the special lighting on it just makes the game look really really good high detail great lighting effects Great new character models. Draw distance is fantastic. Yeah, I can't fault it. High detail on the trees in the distance. effects look really really nice and sharp yeah really love it thanks for watching guys please give it a like share and as always take care